XProtect Smart Client is a powerful, easy-to-use client application for viewing and managing the daily operations of a surveillance installation. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to view live video in the XProtect Smart Client. When you log in, your most recently selected view appears. Depending on your permissions and XProtect version, you can select from the views your administrator creates and the private views that you create. The currently selected view is listed here. Let's click the view arrow. Let's select the dock incoming view. The dock incoming view appears. When you place your pointer over a view item, the camera toolbar appears at the bottom. Depending on your permissions and your version of XProtect, these buttons appear, allowing you to apply various functions to the corresponding view. The Independent Playback button allows you to investigate incidents by playing back recorded clips. The Create a Snapshot feature saves a still image of the current view to a defined location on your local machine. The Send to Printer button opens a surveillance report that you can send to a printer connected to your local machine. The Copy to Clipboard button copies a still image of the selected camera to your clipboard. Depending on your system and your privileges, the Start Recording for 5 Minutes button manually records the current camera even if nothing else triggers the recording, for example, by motion. In some configurations, the PTZ Presets button opens a list that allows you to select Pan, Tilt, Zoom presets. To maximize any camera view item, double-click the title bar. Double-click the title bar again to return to the previous view. You can select different camera feeds to populate different views. In the lower right corner of the Hall View item, let's click More. And then let's click Camera. Before we continue, note that a check mark indicates your current default camera. Now let's click Server. Click Cameras. The available cameras appear listed here. Again, the current camera has a check mark. In this example, we want to see the parking camera. The parking camera is displayed. You can also send a given view to a new floating window. We'll use the More button. Select Send to Window. and then select Main Window, Outside View. A schematic opens that corresponds to the current view layout, with each number representing a different item in the layout. You can send the active camera, in this case parking, to any of the currently configured views by clicking the corresponding number. In this example, you do not want to do that. Rather, let's select New Floating Window. The parking camera displays in a new floating window that has the same functionality as those in the main window. You could use this to continue monitoring a live view item, while simultaneously playing back video from the same view. Let's close the window. You can also use the pane to adjust views. In the upper left corner of the window, click the pane icon. The pane appears with the views and cameras pane showing. In the private, daytime surveillance group, we'll click New View, 2x2. Two two. The view you selected appears. You can also use the Views pane to replace a camera in the view you selected. Click Cameras. With the server and cameras pane expanded, a list of available cameras appears. From here, you can drag any of the cameras to a view item to temporarily replace it. After you alter your view, 
you can reload the original view by clicking the Reload View button. The view reloads and displays the view as stored on the server. You just saw how to view live video in the XProtect Smart Client. Visit our YouTube site to view other tutorials in this playlist.